Andy, look at you. Happy day. You're a hep cat, Andy. <laughs> All right, this is David Nikki Nellis back on Dishing It Out, soon to become Foodie and the Beast. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we get back to talking Taylor, uh, I want to uh, quickly thank all our sponsors and the people that support the show. First of all, the people at Georgetown Bagelry, without whose bagels I could not survive. That's very true. The people at Neighborhood Restaurant Group, uh, Rustico, Evening Star, Tallulah, Vermilion, Buzz Bakery, Columbia Firehouse, the fabulous Birch and Barley, and Church, and Church Key, Key. Uh, and also the guys at Founding Farmers and uh, Farmers and Fishers down at the Georgetown Harbor. Great mm-hmm. restaurants. Thank you for supporting the show. Let's get back to talking Taylor. I, I, I got to say, these sandwiches, I mean... I mean, this is where I live. This is exactly my food Well, group. he doesn't live, because if he did, he'd be in big trouble. But <laughs> tell us a little bit about all the different sandwiches you brought in today. Uh, I brought you guys a sampling. One of, the, one of uh, I think, what David's eating is the Ninth Street Italian. Uh, take that back. I'm eating all of them. He's, <laughs> he's got like six in front of him. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I brought in, a, you know, an Italian. I brought in some chicken cutlets that we, you know, we make from scratch mm-hmm. every, you know, every single day. We, you know, we lightly pan fry them. And put well, I, got, I got prosciutto. I got it, yeah, prosciutto, pesto, and uh, an and eighteen month age sharp provolone. Delicioso. Um, so let's talk about um, your delivery. Yeah. Is that something you guys always offered? Yeah, from the beginning, it was. Uh, in the beginning, you know, it was it was rough to figure out how to get something in D.C. from one place to another. Because there's no delivery, I yeah. feel. Like, um, somebody just moved next door to me from California, and she's like, so where do you guys mm-hmm. order from? I'm like... We don't. I don't. Ever. Peapod. <laughs> That was one of the largest. That was one of the largest components for David and I when we were setting up the business. Was that in DC? It's tough to get anything anywhere. In New York, you can get everything. So, is your delivery guy the same guy with the three hundred sixty thousand miles? On his <laughs> now, 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 seriously, for the the, the the gentleman at the H Street location is the same driver that goes to Philadelphia and then he delivers for the lunch period and then goes home and I think <laughs> get some good get some get good some get some good rest. But uh, you know, we deliver out of each of the stores mm-hmm. and uh, and we just launched the delivery in Bethesda. Last week. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so, do you do parties? I mean, if somebody's like, "I need eighteen subs," yeah, I'm, you know, we put to, we, yeah, we put me? together uh, we put together catering, you know, catering uh, platters, mm-hmm. um, businesses, birthdays. You do the whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. All right, what is the number one sub that people are ordering right now? Um, hoagie, hoagie. Sorry. It's it, it's that Ben Franklin Parkway that's right in front of you. It's a chicken cutlet with our spicy oh, yeah. marinara sauce and uh, and the sharp provolone. It's delicious. People really seem to like it. Yeah. I, well, I think when you guys first came out, everybody was talking about your chicken cutlets. Mm-hmm. Because it's you, not a hot sandwich down here. I mean, you don't see that in other places. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see them very often. That was one of the biggest things that, that we missed. I bet. All right. Well, we really appreciate you coming yeah, in today. Thanks, and thanks for bringing for in all this you know food. This Give us a web address again so yeah. people can check you guys out. www.taylorgourmet.com. Outstanding. Thank you so much. All right, Keith. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Back to McClune. Yeah. All right. So... So, who is McClune? Tim McClune. Uh, well, you were ready for that one. Oh, I was. I was. I was right there with you. Um, Tim McClune is the owner. He he started um, the first restaurant up in Seabright, which is McClune's Rum Runner, was his first. And over the past five years, he's expanded in New Jersey, and now the first one out of state is the one at National Harbor. He's the announcer with the New Jersey Nets, isn't he? Yeah, he's been doing that for a couple of years. Um, He coaches cross-country and track at a high school. He does, like I said, the Holiday Express. He's a musician. Um, He's got a lot of different... A lot of different things going on. He's a on. renaissance man. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but now you guys also do do music. Yes, we do. Is that a nightly thing? How does it's that work? It's Friday and Saturday night. We have live music. Mm-hmm. Um, over the past couple of months since we've been open, it's mostly been acts from New Jersey that play at the other uh, restaurants, and we, we bring them down. But we've been we've been starting to get some local groups coming in, a couple of jazz uh, trios have been in recently, and mm-hmm. they've been uh, received very, very well by everybody. So now, I heard a, a rumor that Bruce Springsteen and Southside Johnny were doing a concert at McClune's. Is that a? I can either con- like I can either conform, uh, confirm, or deny oh, that that right. rumor. Very good. So, um, do you think people will start coming in for the music? Or at I think this point? so. I think I mean, in National Harbor, there are a couple of places that have live music. Bobby McKee's is probably the most famous one. Mm-hmm. Um, but we are kind of we're different. Blend. It's kind of more laid back, kind of not so much loungy, but uh, but as they start playing it around nine o'clock, it it slowly builds to that kind of loud crowd kind of music. So it's 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 different than anything else. Well, the National Harbor is just exploding. I mean, it's such a it's beautiful fantastic. area. It's, it's fantastic. Very, very All cool. right, I've got a question. When the weather 
chills up or down, however we want to put that. What happens with the... the know, it just chills. It chills. Chills, man. <laughs> with the sundown celebration. It's going to be the same 365 days a year. It doesn't matter whether it's hot, cold, raining, sleeting. We're going to be doing it because uh, it's setting somewhere, even though we can't see it. But we're going <laughs> to be... We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep celebrating. Well, I think everybody should sort of celebrate the end of the day. I think so, right? too. Why not? And it's, it's great with our sunset cocktail, so mm-hmm. it's uh, can't beat that. Right. Now, do you guys change your cocktail menus at all, or is it pretty like, It's pretty set? standard. The, the, the cocktail menu is pretty set. Uh, mm-hmm. We do bring in a, a couple of different beers. We do the same seasonal, whichever that one is, so that one's on tap all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do, every once in a while, we let our bartenders get a little creative and, and kind of make a drink for the night. Oh, my God, you let them out of the cage? Exactly. We kind of let them run wild oh. a little bit. <laughs> and uh, they've, they've come up with some great... Uh, some great stuff, a pomegranate martini, um, and a couple other really nice vanilla twist martini kind of thing like that. So it's it's great. And we do have a, a very ex- um, extensive wine list. We've got a nice beer selection. We've got a we've got a good bar thing going on at McLoon's. And just we haven't really discussed the food at all. We only have a couple seconds here. Can you just kind of give us a sure? Quick it's it's a bit more it's a bit more of an upscale American cuisine kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do um, burgers and steaks, uh, but we also like pastas and fish. It kind of a whole bunch of different stuff. So continental. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, great. Something for everybody down Which in Clunes in National Harbor. <laughs> You're so funny. I know. Okay. Well, I are we making one more drink? We can, oh, absolutely. Good. So yeah, why not? Um so this is this is the actual this is the sunset uh cocktail. Mm-hmm. It's uh again going back to the, the Cruzan rum, which seems to be the, the theme for the day. Absolutely. Um, and a little OJ and then we put some uh grenadine on top and we mm-hmm. let it sit and when you you'll see it it, it looks like a sunset. It's like a it's Shirley very... Temple for grown ups. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's very, very nice. All right, fantastic. Well right. thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. Kevin, I thanks. just want to see how it looks when he finishes it. All right. Well, while we're doing that, let me remind everybody that, uh, you know, dishing it out, we only have an hour, so uh, we can only cover so many things, and there's so much more to know and to do. If you go to the list, areyouonit.com, Nikki's website, you can join 30,000 other subscribers who want to know what's going on in the greater D.C. region. Mm -hmm. It's free to subscribe. All you got to do is punch in, and you can find out absolutely everything that's happening including using a a great little tool called MyList, which lets you click on an item and collect it to your own personal uh, food and wine to-do list. A lot of fun. You can follow Nikki on Twitter. Also true. And at 10 of 1 today, you can listen to her today and every day at 10 of 1 on WTOP. Every Sunday. What did I say? Every day. It should be every day. It should be every day. (laughs) Write that check. (laughs) No. Yes. So every Sunday for free. So let's go. Okay, so as we do on every show, we're so fortunate to get to sit here and eat all sorts of goodies. Um, But there are those who can't. So this week, if you did not know, it is the Great American Dine-Out. Yeah. Take it, David. Share Our Strengths Great American Dine-Out is a week-long event that works to make sure that no child goes hungry in America, which is perfect with our sort of food line theme earlier today. The more you dine out at participating restaurants, the more funds you're going to help raise and the closer we'll get to ending Childhood Hunger in America by the target date of 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, you dine out this September 19th through 25th. Starting today. Today, yep, at participating restaurants. Go to shareourstrength.org, and there's a complete list of the restaurants participating. Um, and a, almost every restaurant in the city is participating. Go have a so good meal a good and group. do something nice. Okay, and as we do also in every show, we like to leave you with a little quote. David always finds some real zingers. Well, there's a famous foodie. I don't, his name is maybe not known to all of you. His name is David Brenner. I don't know if that name rings a bell. He's a comedian. <laughs> bada bing, bada exactly. boom. He is from and Philly. He, he said, and I quote, a vegetarian is a person that won't eat anything that can have children. <laughs> so I love that. All right, so we want to thank our uh, guest today, the mm-hmm. Meat Lovers Meatless Cookbook author, Kim O'Donnell. Great book. And you can see her all around town over the next week and a half. Yeah, she thanks, gets guys. around. Yes, thanks so much for coming Lunchline in. Lunch filmmaker Michael Graziano, McLoon's bar manager Kevin Bench, and last but not least, Mr. Taste Bud himself, <laughs> Casey Taylor Patton from Taylor's Gourmet. Great, great, st- I mean, these sandwiches are nuts. They're great. great. Absolutely. So thank you all for coming What's in. What's happening next week? Um, next week we have a great show. It's a little boozy. 
for oh, a change. Too bad. <laughs> uh, Desmond Kane, he is the master distiller for Beef Eater Gin. He's going to be talking about their new line of tea infused gins, and he's going to be pouring them for uh, for us. And wines from Chile, we have them coming in. They're going to pour us all of their wines. All right, and then we so got bad. a couple more seconds. I want you guys, if you want to see what goes on in here, and it's sometimes wild and sometimes wacky and sometimes boring, but always fun. <laughs> Uh, go to YouTube and go to Foodie and the Beast, all one word, and you've got great clips from uh, Chris and Nick over there. I guess you never see them on camera. No, not yet. Who would want right. to? Yeah. Anyway, Anyways. thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah. Everybody have a delicious week. All right, bye-bye.